So how much is it going to cost you to sell your home? If you remember when you purchased your home, you didn't have to pay for your real estate agent service. That's because how it works is the sellers pay the listing agent, listing agent pays the buyer's agent, and that's how it works. So the commissions end up getting split up. Now, here are some of the fees. Um, it's hard to give you a dollar amount because most of them are based off of percentages, but you're gonna have commissions. That's gonna be the biggest chunk of your expenses. It's gonna be the commissions. Then on top of that, you have um, your closing costs that are associated with the sale, meaning your escrow fees, your title insurance, um, there's some random ones as far as like a recording fee, those kind of things. But you also have to remember that um, you may have some taxes that you have to pay, not your income taxes, but your property taxes if they're because property taxes are paid in arrears. The best thing that I can tell you is we actually do what's called a net sheet and that will help you to see how much everything is going to cost you to sell your home. Now, keep in mind, it's just an estimate, but it does give you an idea because one, th one thing that people don't don't um, estimate when they're thinking about selling their home. They th say, oh, my house is worth 300, I bought it for 200, I got $100,000 worth of equity. Correct, you do, and all that equity is not necessarily gonna go into your, your pocket. There are gonna be costs that are associated. So let us get you that information.